guys, it's me, Faye, here at Faye Dusk, and I thought I would just do a, a little altar tour video for you. For those of you who've been um, a subscriber of my channel since it began, so about five or six years ago, one of the very first videos that I posted up on my channel was an altar tour um, video. And for those of you who remember that I have on my wall above my bed, I have two long, or oh, two bookshelves. Um, the first one came with, came with the room, that kind of sounds weird. Um, what it means is when uh, we moved into this house, uh, when I was a teenager, um, there was already two book, uh, bookshelves that span the length of the wall. So there's one above my bed and one the other side of the room. Um, so yeah, so I've always had that uh, filled with books. As books are my love. Um, I did have a very small um altar, my altar sort of like in the corner on the shelf, but it was just so high up. Couldn't do anything with. So when I got a bit older and teenager, I, well, later in my teens, should I say, it sounded really weird. Um, I asked for a, another shelf to be put on my wall. So another shelf was put up uh, just above, um, just below, just above, just below um, my other bookshelf. And then that's always served as my altar. And I think I've said in previous, a lot of videos that ever since, or that once I eventually finished redecorating my room, that I wanted another altar on the floor, like a working altar. And I will do another video covering working altars and non-working altars, as I know that can sort of sound like a really confusing um, contradiction. But yeah, so anyway, I wanted another altar on the floor that I could easily cast a circle around if I wanted to and sort of sit in front and meditate and do all that sort of thing. Is obviously with my bookcase, bookshelf, sorry, because it's above my bed. I sort of have to stand up and it's very sort of impractical and things like that. But I love that altar and I will never take it down. So I have two altars. So that, I don't know if that would be my main altar. Well, this is my main altar. I guess this is my main altar now, but this is my working altar so i will show you a quick video god you have to forgive me i'm such a ow, messy person well actually not really i just had my straighteners like just on the floor <laughs> that was what if you saw them then i was just straightening my hair before and that's a cup that i got in a set for christmas i'm not sure what i'm going to do with it yet just like one of those travel mug things says tops of cream and sprinkles there's a candle in that bit of my table I haven't used yet, but I will use. And this table I got uh, for my birthday from my lovely sister. So I had another altar table in here, a small one, but it was quite tatty and it wasn't very nice. So it was a complete surprise. I didn't ask for an altar table or anything like that, but I got one and I was so excited. And it's like a white vintage colour goes really well in my room. I will be doing a room tour after this video, I'm sure. And that's a big, beautiful butterfly, white, just a round uh, table. So as you can see, it's not massive, but I didn't want anything that was too massive, but it works really well in my room. And my working altar is, or has become my fairy altar. So this is, uh, um, this is my altar sort of ded I've dedicated to fairies and my fairy path and for those of you that are new who've only just sort of clicked onto my channel um i am eclectic fairy wiccan and obviously i will I think there's a couple of videos on my channel about that if you flick through your playlist and stuff but i will be doing proper series and uh whatever on that very soon but let's look at my altar <laughs> okay then so most of the stuff i got from my mom i mean uh she's bought pretty much all my witchy stuff in my room but, uh, and she goes to Cornwall quite a bit. And for those of you who don't know, Cornwall's like a very, uh, spiritual and witchy place. And there's loads of really cool little shops and loads of fairy things. And awesome. So this was probably a few years ago. It's a beautiful, um, I'm not sure what material it is. It feels like, um, some sort of, I don't 
now like some sort of pottery almost and it's a beautiful fairy um and it's an incense holder uh i love it and i light incense in it all the time and i meant to put some incense on in it before i put this video on but then i forgot i just lit my candles and that was it but i'm sure you'll see some more videos soon with some incense in that one and this is a really pretty butterfly um shaped got real dusty only dusted the other day um really pretty butterfly shaped like dish that my um uh sister gave to me and there's two of them i got one on my desk as well but yeah and it's got a tiny little crack in the corner but it just means that it's a little bit more loved uh this here this fairy that you can see here i've had a long time and i did have on my um other altar at one time uh, yeah, so I think I got it from a garden centre or something years ago. But we can see her. She's a beautiful young fairy uh, looking down into almost like a wishing wishing well, I suppose, or a water or a pond. But yeah, and this is um, obviously mirrored. And it's really pretty. I swear I do dust. I don't know why it's so dusty. And then this I got through in a magazine ages ago and I just keep it on there. And it says, May the love... Of the angels shower your heart with sunshine so i like to think that she's looking down on that uh these candles that you can see that i sort of use as my uh altar candles they're sort of like scented and they're really pretty and they say be silly be kind and be honest and i quite think they're quite good virtues to live by so i have those as my altar candles and then obviously once they burn down completely i'll scrape um, scoop out the leftover wax and I'll be able to put other candles in there to light so I thought they were real cool and they're sort of like in just in like gold shiny holder type things uh, this here I got from oh I swear I nearly burnt myself god I need to be careful this here I got from a um, garden centre local garden centre to me and it's really pretty and I fell in love with it as soon as I saw it. They had a few ones, a few different ones, but this one said dream and I really loved it. I loved the colour and I loved feathers, anything with feathers. And it's just like a little pull out drawer. And the whole point why I wanted it on my altar was it was going to be something for uh, manifesting. Things that I wanted to manifest in my life. I mean, I'm keeping my, uh, my sort of um, goals for this year. Uh, in there I and mean, just like for like a manifest manifestation like dream box things like that sort of gonna keep any little things I want to manifest into my life in there on my altar so I thought that'd be cool this really pretty fairy that you can see I got bought that for my birthday just gone by my nan and I absolutely love it and it goes perfect on there like the colors similar very similar like blue gray colors and it just looks so pretty and then on here I stuck a butterfly or like a twine, like a twine around it, like a feather butterfly. So it was pretty. And this that you can see, this sort of like a bird cage type thing. It's like a metal thing with butterflies around it. it I got that from Matalan, I think. And it's just a tea light holder, and I just thought it was really pretty and cool, and it really goes with my theme as you can see dotted around more tea lights they are actually toadstool ones i don't like those ones i use those just for decorative purposes i got them from where did i get them from from dunham mill last year and they were quite cheap i think they were like 3.99 for a pack of four and i didn't really think about getting a few packs so i could i could light them and then sort of keep a speck as, uh, a pack as decorative that didn't really enter my mind and i kind of wish it had which is really annoying so and they don't have them anymore so i never like these these are just for decorative purposes never associate toadstools with fairies so yeah so i have four of those dotted around my altar at the back there i think i got this from matalan is light pink uh heart cut out lantern and it's got sort of like the handles hold it by and sometimes i put candles in there just depending and here the final thing this uh, metal tray has got flower fairies on it. My mom got it me for my birthday, I think, a few years ago. So I just keep a couple of crystals in there. 
my favorite is quartz where is quartz my favorite uh i think that's snowflake obsidian the black speckled one at the front and i can't remember what the dark green one is but on top of that i have a custom made uh um fairy that i got off facebook and she's really pretty and then underneath that is a small like, little badge with the wheel of the year and then that side is a custom made wand that I got from someone that I'm friends with and she's really pretty she's supposed to be sort of like a native tribal woman and she's got beautiful flowers in her hair and she's rose quartz and with a quartz point and she's such a beautiful wand, I love her, so she just permanently sits on my altar. And there you have it. There's my, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I shall uh, speak to you soon. Blessed be.